everybody. How's it going? We're back today. Yesterday I had a little bit of a break because I spent the day with my partner. I don't get to see them too much anymore because they work night shifts on the weekend. Um, so that was really nice. It was a really nice day, really nice break. But today we are back uh, with Pit Stop in Purgatory, which I have no idea how long it is, which is probably something I should have looked up. But I did. So we're gonna do that right now. Five hours, so maybe two streams. Four, two or three. We'll see. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you've hydrated, drank lots of water, have eaten something today. And uh, if you haven't, grab a drink, grab a snack, relax, and enjoy the stream. Um, before we get into it, I will say that there was a warning when I pulled up the game of... Um, there's depictions of death and uh, those types of things, so if you're easily triggered with those types of things, it's sensitive. Um, I recommend not watching this, but um, be at your own discretion. Uh, so we're going to get right into it. Here we go. How are we doing, Doctor? Not good, the patient has lost a lot of blood. Vital signs are fading quickly. What do you want me to do? Hand me the... Dang. Doctor? We're losing her. She won't stop bleeding no matter what I do. Hold on, girl. Hold on. Don't... Dang it. Doctor, please don't be so hard on yourself. With the kind of shape she was in, we couldn't have... It never gets any easier, you know? No matter how many times I see it, especially when they're so young, just robbed of a full life. I agree. It isn't fair, Doctor. Just call it. Time of death, 6 p.m. exactly. Wherever she is now, I hope it's in a better place. The, this isn't. Where am I? Am I dreaming? Rise and shine. Oh, that was nice. This man. He came out of nowhere. I'm sure I've never seen him before. In fact, I haven't seen anything like this before. Everything's all distorted. Hmm. Oh my. You didn't lose your tongue before checking out, did you? No matter. It would still grow back. One of the many magical aspects of this place, you know. This place? I'll just give you a minute or two to re-wake up, as it were. Does that sound reasonable? <laughs> Miss Braid? Uh, how do you know my name? Oh, please. Why do they always ask that first? They could answer that, but I'm fairly sure you'll grow to find that it's the least of your current concerns. Concerns? Hmm. How can I put this delicately? Your warranty has expired. Your position has been terminated. You've taken your last highway exit. Do I need to go on? I don't understand. Hmm. Alright. Then understand this. You're dead. However, you needn't worry, for I am here to help you make sense of this new and exciting life after life. Or after life, for short. And that is why they That's why they call the me guide. the guide. I'm trying not to talk when they talk. Oh, I get it now. You must have fallen asleep between takes. How rude of me not even noticing you. You must be my new co-star. I'm Astrid Braid, star in the making. Let's make this production shine. <laughs> you humans are absolutely priceless sometimes. 
If it weren't for you, this job would certainly be more boring than it already is. Alright, you can come out of character now. I'm pretty sure we're on break. After all, there's no one on set. Set? Oh, that's right. You were an actress. Not a very successful one, I might add. Hey. That's a low blow. So you're telling me I'm dead? Hmm. Correct. And you expect me to just accept that. Well, you don't really have a lot of options. Let's say I believe you. I'm dead. Is this heaven? Or, you know, down south? <laughs> it's interesting how people always find it easier to say heaven than to say hell. Actually, though, you're in neither. Are you saying this is like purgatory? Well, to be exact, there isn't really a name for this place that fits your earthly vocabulary. It's really just something in between. But to keep it simple, we're calling it purgatory anyway, since that's a concept most who come here are familiar with. It's close enough, I guess you could say. This man is either the most committed co-actor I've ever had, or no. I can't really be dead, can I? Mm -hmm. That's right, let us sink in. Are you reading my mind? Maybe. Or maybe it's fairly easy to deduce what your thought process is, since I've had this very conversation with an, an innumerable amount of times. <laughs> Sorry. You humans aren't as different from each other as you like to believe you are. Alright. So, I can't believe I'm asking this, why but why am I, am I here? Oh, why? Yeah, she said it. Finally something to work with. You're here because, wait for it, you're not ready to move on yet. What do you mean? Most people actually find an acceptable amount of peace in their past, regardless of how drawn out or sudden it may be. However, for some of you, not so much. And until you find that peace, you're going to be spending an unspecified amount of time here. Huh. But I don't feel very... at on peace. Hmm. Well, that's the last... what's the last thing you remember? That's easy, I... Why can't I remember what I was doing before I came here? Right, this one's a classic. Death in general is obviously quite traumatic, but in some cases more so. More so? What I'm saying is your death was so traumatic you've repressed the memory of it. Aren't you fortunate to have a guide to help you along? What the... What could possibly have happened to me? <laughs> Lucky you, you've been given not one, but two fun objectives to complete. One, make peace with you being dead. To get the heck out of here. Oh, is that all? I can't believe this. Hmm. Allow me to once again be of assistance. Help yourself to this highly useful brochure. Receive the informational pamphlet. It's full of morbidly cute drawings that says, dang, you're dead, on the front. Open it via inventory. Dang, you're dead. <laughs> Catchy title, right? What can I do with this? It's full of information that will help you keep track of things around here. You see, well, while I'm helpful, I also happen to be quite busy. That brochure, however, is always available to you, so use it well. Thanks, I guess. So what do I do now? You'll be pleased to hear that every soul who drops by here gets their own room for the duration of their stay. My advice would be to visit yours. And how do I find my room? Make your way to the local watering hole, the Ouroboros Bar. As denoted by that helpful sign over there. Oh, from there? Well, I'm certain you'll figure it Good out. Luck. Good luck, Miss Braid. Wait, you can't just... He's gone. He can't actually be dead, right? No, this has to be a dream. Or some weird hallucination caused by lack of sleep. Definitely. But everything feels so real. So I guess I'll go by that bar. Why can't I remember anything? How did I die? Act 1. What I learned from waking up dead. Okay. Time to look around. Maybe someone or something can help me out. Wait. Oh, well, I can save. That's cool. Anyway. How do I... Back. I wanted to open this.
Oh. Okay, well, that's just telling me about the characters. Exit, mount a clock. The pointers seem firmly fixed in their position, so this clock is pretty much useless. I guess it's a bit redundant to keep track of time in a place like this anyway. This must be the bar's official poster. It depicts a snake eating its own tail. I get the feeling that it's supposed to represent something. It's an assortment of various alcoholic substances. I'm not much of a drinker, but even I can tell there's enough. There's some high quality stuff in here. There's an impressive amount of things to choose from. Let's see. The guide's special toast, the guide's special pasta, the guide's special special, the guide's gui ding ding shay? Doesn't seem to end. Looks like two perfectly fine pieces of interior design. One candle's lit, but the flame doesn't seem to flicker. Okay. Smiling shadow. Oh gosh, hi. Hello. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. New arrival? That's right, I'm Astrid. Are you dead too? As dead as can be, along with everyone else here. But hey, life goes on. So to speak. Whatever he is, he seems friendly enough. So can I help you? I don't know where my room is. Can you help? Oh yeah, I know what that's like. It's through the open door over there. However, you need to find a special key in order to actually pass through. I think someone hid something like that behind the dartboard earlier. Maybe you search there? Thank you, I'll take a look. Good luck finding what you're looking for. Are we really dead? It's a hard one to accept, I know. It took me a long time. But just look at me, I'm smiling widely. And if I can learn to do that, then so can you. Somehow I doubt that. Do you like painting? You know, it's funny. Back in the fat days, I used to think about this kind of stuff all the time. At times, it's almost, it almost drove me crazy, this feeling of wanting to know what's next, you know? I can relate. Who knew that once I croaked, I'd be spending my time thinking about the same dang thing all over again? I'm dead, and I still don't know what's next. It's enough to make you smile, right? Sure. How do you stay so happy? It's all about attitude. I mean, if I'm gonna spend eternity here, I might as well try and stay positive, don't you think? Eternity, huh? How long have you been here? Wish I could answer you. It's been... It's hard to get a grip on time here, honestly. Especially since the clock doesn't seem to work. Right. But I found it necessary to update my vocabulary once or twice, so that should give you an idea. What do you mean by that? Well, you know how languages change? Eventually, words that you commonly use become obsolete as time moves on. You start noticing that as newer and newer arrivals pop by, and they don't understand some of what you're saying. I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah, it's a must, unless you want to sound ancient or stupid. Some people like sticking to their old-timey expressions. Come heck in high water, though. Like that weird lady. I'm just fixing my headphones really fast. That's better. Weird lady. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. Enjoy your stay in purgatory and always remember to smile. I'll try. Annoyed shadow? Hello? What do you want? Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb. Then don't approach people you don't know, you moron. They'll piss off. Not exactly a warm welcome from this one. I wonder what she's so angry about. Probably being dead. I don't know. Let's see if there's something behind there. There's a small box with a note on it. It says, to open this box and get my key, you must tell me what I want to see. I'm looking at your face no matter what. Remember, doing this gets you out of a rut. Riddle? I hate those. Something that someone says you should always remember to do using your face. Smile. The box opened. Skeleton key. Get it to your room, apparently. Alright, let's do this. Well, that changes. Items can be used. Choosing to confirm. Pick this up and... Success! Guess not, because nothing's happening. What am I supposed to do here? Stupid dang door, stupid dang everything, stupid dang death, stupid dang... Oh, no. 
Oh no, another poor soul tricked by that smiling adult plot and his useless objects. Let me clear up this mess for you. All you have to do to reach your room is to think about it. It really is that simple. Hypocrite. You, you've got to be kidding me. That's all I've had to do. But I could have sworn I thought about my room before. It's more likely you were thinking about how to get to it. Which is similar, but not the same. One of the many devious ways the Dirty Bow entertains himself on our expense. You're using a lot of strange words, but I'm assuming you mean the guy. Yes, that one. You must learn to navigate his constant presence in order to survive here, Rubikin. What do you mean, survive? We're already dead, aren't we? <laughs> You're right, of course. Now give that thinking of your room a try. You'll find it to your liking, I'm sure. Wait, are you re leaving already? What if I need to find you again? You're the first one who's actually helped me since I got here. I'm confused, I'm lonely, and I'm... Just please don't Poor go. Nipperkin. Poor Nipperkin. Lost, lost and afraid. afraid. It's been so long since I was in your so shoes that I sometimes forget how it felt. <laughs> don't worry. I'll not leave you to the cruel devices of this sordid assortment of ambidexters and barachios. Time flows strangely in this abnormal place, so make sure we meet again. We have to tie ourselves together. Like with a rope? No, silly. Take this small trinket, and as long as you carry it, I, Rahil, will find you again. <laughs> Strange bobble. Somehow it ties you and Rahil together. So, Rahil's your name then? <laughs> yes, Nipperkin. A mastered. And as cute as Nipperkin sounds, I'm not sure if I want to be called that. Especially since I don't know what it means. Some of the things I may s be camp- I say may be camp cramp words to you, Astrid, but I don't mean to offend. Hmm. Now please, hurry to your room. I'll see you later. Alright, I will. Thank you, Rahel. With a smile, there's definitely something captivating about her, even though I only understood about half the things she said. Very well, let's try heading to my room then. So all I have to do is think about it. Here it goes. <laughs> room, 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 room. <laughs> That was feist. <laughs> I barely had time to even think about well, thinking. So this is my room, huh? I don't know what I expected, but all things considered, this looks pretty ordinary. Cozy, even. Nice, okay. Yeah. Um When I said room that many times, it made me think of a car. <laughs> Winner? For her inspired portrayal of the cute little pink owl and fair enough city's annual so you think you can act competition, we hereby grant this diploma to Astrid Gray at eight years old. When I won that award, I realized I wanted to become an actress for real. But how did that get here? You know, I don't mean you're dead, I don't, I don't say. Still got it. <laughs> this drawer is full of makeup. I guess the takeaway here is even though you're dead, you don't have to look dead. This is true. The void. <laughs> the boy stare into the gaping abyss that is you. What a depressing view. Mr. Guide, are you in there? You never know. Why'd you ask that in a cabinet, you weirdo? I have to admit, whoever decorated here has great taste. This bed looks exactly like the one I have back at home. Or had, I suppose. This is a poster advertising the Z Files. <laughs> I used to love that show so much. My friends all had a crush on the male lead, but I was too deep into science fiction elements of it to even notice him that much. Just kidding. I loved him even more than my friends did. <laughs> X-Files, right? Oh gosh, it's a poster advertising the movie Gothic Goth Girls from Planet Gothica X. <laughs> this sounds familiar somehow, and also very dumb. I, d I don't understand that reference. I recognize these books. Shirtlifts, Audition, Stanislavski's, An Actor Prepares Butler's The Method, books on acting that I've read a million times over, and now I've, I'll have the time to read them an additional billion times. Yay. Wait a minute. All these familiar things. Can it be that they're mine? Uh, my head hurts all of a sudden. What's going on? Howdy. Welcome. It's so bright. 
Astrid didn't get. What's that voice? Why always it's I'm just gonna be here for a minute, then I'll try to like okay. What's this game about? A death. We're dead and we're in purgatory. And we have to remember how we died and how to get out of here. Is anyone there? You there's no? Who are you? Are you in pain? I don't understand you. Why can't I see anything? Dang, sounds like fun. It's it's mostly point and click. What's that sound? Oh, ambulance sirens? They're definitely sirens. Could there be an ambulance nearby? Please help. I can't see anything and I think someone's hurt. Hello? Sirens are disappearing? Wait, don't leave. Can't you hear me? Oh. What's this? A shadow? Hello? You don't belong here. Point-click games are fun though. They can be, as long as there's enough story to spice it up, in my opinion. What do you mean? You don't belong here. Here, as in purgatory? You don't belong here. Stop saying that. I don't understand. If you're not going to make sense, then leave, leave me, me alone. alone. Leave me alone. I'm back in my room. Was I imagining things? Oh man, this has been a weird day to say the least. I should probably head back to the bar and see if I can talk to someone about what just happened. The guide should be around somewhere, hopefully. I'd like to look at the rest of this stuff first. Why does he look like Anatoly from Cooking Companions? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> These pens dry out. I'll be able to. Will I be able to get more? Will they replenish automatically, or maybe they're magical, so they have an infinite supply of ink in them? So many questions. <laughs> Home. At least I want to spend eternity with messy hair. Fair enough. Okay. Are they connected? Is there lore here? Maybe. This is purgatory after all. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Uh, so we got him now. We got a handsome man. Oh, hi. Hello. I'm in the middle of something. Please leave me alone. Oh, sorry. Seems like drinking alone is keeping him occupied at the moment. Rip. This braid. <laughs> That voice was amazing. <laughs> I heard it a little bit. It was very dark. Very deep. Are you the bartender? But of course. Didn't you say you were quite busy? I am. But generally speaking, I don't let silly little things like the abstract concept of time get in the way of me doing what I want. Handsome man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Are you an inquisitive one? Hmm. Wouldn't you like to order a drink instead? Getting some of that edge off would do you well. I almost forgot. <laughs> Was there room to your liking? To be honest, it felt like being back home. Mm. As the intent, of course. Intent. We strive to make sure that all of our guests feel as comfortable as possible during their stay in purgatory. To that end, relevant personal information is used when designing rooms. Meaning that every room is different depending on the person who gets to stay in it? Correct. How impressive you, of you to reach that inclusion, conclusion with barely any help. It really wasn't that hard to figure out. No, don't sell yourself short. Feels like he's humoring you. No. <laughs> How about that drink? Oh god, oh goodness. Something strange happened mm. when I was in my room. Is that show? So?
sorry. That's what happens when you haven't moved out of the house yet. Um, do go on. There was a bright light, a voice saying things I couldn't understand, some loud sirens. Then a strange shadow telling me I don't belong here. It all played out in front of me like scenes from a movie. Struggling to understand whether or not it was even real. <laughs> Most interesting, but not unheard of. Seems you've already begun to uncover the puzzle that will ultimately grant your ticket out of here. And this early on in your visit too. You're just full of surprises, aren't you? So the things I saw and heard, you're saying that I didn't just imagine them? Purgatory never lies, Miss Braid. If something feels real here, you can be quite certain that it is. Although you're still in a scrambled state, your mind is desperately trying to piece itself back together. As such, you would do well not to trust these visions too blindly. I see. So what do I do next? I believe I've said enough on the matter for now. After all, this is your story, not mine. I wouldn't dream of stealing the joy of discovery away from you. It's really getting on my nerves. One more question. Yes? That thing the shadow said about me not belonging here, could that somehow be true? Like, could there have been a mistake? Let me think about that for a millisecond. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you definitely belong here, so don't you worry about that. It did sound too good to be true. I don't want to ask if I'm really dead, because I am. What's with these shadows, people? Why can't I see their faces? That's actually such a sad thing. Some people have had deaths so dramatic, so jarringly grotesque, that even Purgatory itself can't restore their original looks. That's so sad. I'm kidding. What? Actually, it's because you're choosing not to register everyone you interact with, as that would be far too much for you to process at any given time. Are you saying I'm shallow? That's your interpretation. Actually, would you believe that there are millions of people in this very room as we speak? I see them all, clear as day. Really? The humor of this man is annoying. A little bit. <laughs> in that case, why can't I see them? Isn't the better question, would you want to? I mean, how would you find a seat? That's true, I guess. Wait, so you're still just making stuff up, aren't you? Who's to say? At the end of the day, some people just appear clearer to you than others. Is that really any different to how it used to be when you were alive? People passing you in the shopping mall, for example. Would you say you'd always notice the features of each and every one? I suppose not. There you go. I can't say I fully understand, but... That's alright. You don't have to understand everything. Get out of my head, please. No promises. Um, woman named Rahel. Well, obviously I've met everyone. And, excuse me? What's her deal? Haven't you already spoken to her yourself? Are you deliberately wasting my time? No, I... Because if you are, I'll have to. I'll have to tell you to stop. Alright then. Drawn to the handsome, brooding man, are you? How delicate, deliciously predictable. What are you implying? I mean, I was just curious. He looks so lonely somehow. Well, not in the business of spilling the beans on each and every customer, but I can tell you his name is Locke. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks, I suppose. Do you really work here? Isn't it obvious? But I don't get it. There has to be new people arriving all the time, right? So how can you be here and doing this while simultaneously greeting them? Oh, Miss Braid, clearly you possess a sharp mind. Perhaps you should allocate more of that mental energy toward your current predicament rather than spending time pondering what I do. That's not much of an answer. <laughs> it will have to suffice. He's so annoying. All right, I'll bite. What drinks do you have? That depends. On what? What do you want? Well, obviously, do you have water? Oh dear. 
Anything you can think of and you settle for that. Water is the matter with you. You did not just say that. Let's say I didn't. Alright. That's enough guidance for now. I see what you did there. Until we meet again, Miss Braid. There are people here that I need to talk to? I don't want to talk to Smiling Man again. Hey you. Yeah? What's the big idea of giving me a key that doesn't work? Oh, that. You can't blame a guy for wanting to spice up the afterlife with some fun pranks, right? I absolutely can and I will. You should try smile- if you tell me to smile again, I will punch you. Fine. Sorry about that whole thing. Let's start over. My name is- actually, you can just call me Smiley. <laughs> Alright, Smiley. But I'll be watching you. Fair enough. Is it just me, or is he somehow smiling even wider than before? How come I can't see your face clearly? You can't see my face? Well, you're missing out, because this is one handsome mug, I'll tell you that. Sure it is. For what it's worth, I can see you clearly in your stomach. That doesn't really answer my question, but I appreciate the compliment. Is that a smile, I see? No. Maybe. There you go. See you later, Smiley. Stay out of trouble. You know me, I'll smile my way through anything. That's what worries me. Not right now, there are people here I need to talk to. Like who? Locke? What? Oh, is your name Locke? How, the hell do, you How do you know that? You spied on me, lady? No, I... How do I get... Uh, female intuition? I asked the bartender? You have a locky look about you. What does that even mean? But yes, yes Locke is my name. Mm. So, who wants to know? Is he easy enough? I'm Astrid, and I'm, well, I'm new here. Congratulations. Welcome to <laughs> that reminds me of the Spongebob scene where he goes, My friend's in there. With the bubble. Bubble buddy. My friend's in there. Congratulations. <laughs> Welcome to paradise. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. I figured. Well, if that's all. Actually, I was hoping that you could help me out. Do I look helpful to you, lady? See these bottles all over the place? Uh, no. Oh. I guess that sketchy bastard took him off the table when I wasn't looking. You're talking about the guide. Who else? Anyhow, the point I was trying to make... I've been drinking. A lot. And I ain't planning on stopping. So you'll excuse me when I say I'm in no state to help. Besides, Smiley over there has something in mind. And I ain't doing anything else until I get it back. He must be referring to the smiling shadow that tricked me before. He stole something from me? You could say that. That's enough talking for now, lady. I have a mountain of booze to finish, and I'm itching to get started. Well then, I'll... He already turned his back to me. I don't know what it is, but there's something about him. Maybe he'll be more talkative if I help get his item back from the shadow. Astrid, hi. Sorry about before. Did you steal something from Locke? Steal? How dare he? I found this shiny thing just lying on the floor. He can't possibly prove that it's his. Can I see it? Sure. Check it out, it's all shiny and all mine. Looks like some kind of coin. Very shiny indeed, right? I see. Okay. Can I please have it? I like you, but I don't like you not to give me my stuff. Look at this. What about it? It's your key. I know. Follow it with your eyes. Alright. He's distracted. <laughs> this is my chance to grab the thing. Yoink. Stole the blank coin. <laughs> Can't believe I fell for that. Well played, Astrid. I'm keeping the useless key, though. Oh no, not the useless key. Please don't take it from me. Sarcasm, right? That's enough to make me crack a smile. What is it? True. Give me that drunken... Give that drunken bastard my best regards, won't you? No promises. See you later, Smiley. Stay out of trouble. You again? He's not wrong. That's so sad. 
part about me being drunk and a part about him being an idiot. Both, I guess. Anything else? Got something for you. Mm. Oh, you really went and got it for me, huh? Why would you do that? Can it just be out of the goodness of my heart? I guess it could. It's just usually when people do me favors, I have an agenda. Maybe you've been hanging around with bad people then. Look, lady, we just met. For all you know, maybe I'm bad people. Doesn't feel like you are. What kind of reasoning is that? Have you seen this place? You can't trust anyone here. They're all liars and cheats. So how about you and me try trusting each other? Now we'll both have someone to depend on at least. Well, you did get my coin back. So I guess I'll consider it. That's all I ask. Hey, a question. What's so special about that coin? It's a long story. Not like we're going anywhere, right? True enough, but still, that's a story for another time. So you're saying we'll meet again? Decided on trusting me already? I... It's a figure of speech, alright. If you say so. I'm spent finishing off these drinks and it's time to sleep for a while. Sleep? But we're dead, so... Even if we don't need to be eating, sleeping, or whatever else, we can still enjoy those things here. A good nap is as satisfying now as it used to be back during my livelier days. Didn't that bartending bastard tell you about that? He did not. See, they're all liars, like I told you. I did find it strange that this place has so much stuff you can order. Literally anything you want. That's paradise for you. I guess things could be worse in that regard. So I'll see you later then. I have a feeling you will. Sleep tight. Oh my gosh, who else? <laughs> what? <laughs> who? Th there are not. Whoa, 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 whoa. I clicked that question mark and it took me to the online walkthrough. I guess there's... Okay, well, I don't want to look at that because I don't think I need it. <laughs> um, if we can't go there, we talk to everyone, I guess. We have to go back here. There have been many times of my life when I've been too tired to even think, but none of them compared to now. Maybe it's all the questions I've been asking people. Maybe it's the way Locke managed to sell me on the concept of napping in the afterlife. Or maybe it's just a huge and absolutely insane realization I'm not alive anymore. How can that be? How can I not exist? I used to be so afraid of that. The whole existential anxiety thing. Trying to imagine myself being gone. It's impossible. But here we are. And this is somehow worse, even though I'm still me. What's left of me? Oh shoot, I didn't mean to skip through that. I wish I could tell them about all this. I wish... I guess I wish for a lot of things. But for now, I think sleeping tops that list. If I just let everything go for a while, then maybe I'll feel better. It's worth a try. Oh, this bed, it's just... Absolutely perfect. Huh? What's that noise? It sounds like footsteps. What the? I need to get up and hit the lights. Oh, whoa. It's that shadow. It's just standing there, staring at me. I told you already, either make sense or leave me alone. You don't belong here. Well, neither do you, since it's my room. Get out. For crying out loud, how do I get rid of this damn thing? Clearly I need to do something here. I'm assuming it's this, because the book's not- Hey, look at this! 
interesting. Its gaze seems to follow along as I move that thing I got from Rahel around. Do you like this, or...? Okay. I'm asking really nicely, is it gonna work, huh? Who are you? Pleased to meet you, Mr. Uncomfortable Silence. How'd you get in here? I suppose I did leave the door open. Just try to keep still while I look for a way to get rid of you. Throwing pens, okay. Chinese mirror I've ever seen is practically blinding. Um, this? Follow this with your eyes. Throwing out the mirror, work your magic, strange bubbly thing. The power of light compels you! <laughs> it actually worked. I'm guessing it's not a fan of brightness, huh? I owe Raha one. Speaking of her, maybe she has an idea why the shadows seem to react to that thing she gave me. And aside from that, the guy definitely knows more than he's telling me. I suppose taking a longer nap is off the table, at least until I find some more answers. Oh man. Handful entries. Just another day in paradise achievement. Act 2. The barely acceptable truth of knowing. How many acts are there? Act two, and then there's okay. There's three acts in an epilogue, and there's different routes, I guess. So it's showtime. Let's save. Hey, yo, Astrid. How's it hanging? Let me get back to you on that. All right, no worries. What do you mean? We haven't seen each other for ten years or so. This is another one of your pranks, I swear I'll- Oh no, I wouldn't dare try tricking you again, it's true, I promise. Trust me, I, I get how confused you must be right now. I'm not even smiling right now. That's how you can tell I'm being very serious. I'm still smiling a little. Tell me I slept for ten years. Give or take. Did you set an alarm? I didn't. Time is weird here, you know? Since your body doesn't really need sleep, it doesn't tell you when you're done sleeping either. There's nothing to wake you up. It's like Raha said, time flows strangely in this abnormal place. Oh man, I feel you. Well, I'm here if you need someone to talk to. No funny business, I swear. Thanks, Smiley. Leave me alone. Is this the same annoyed shadow I met last time? The attitude seems to match, at least. You're looking cranky, lady. Had a bad sleep? Is there maybe something you forgot to tell me? About waking up? Yes. Sorry about that. I'll take your apology into consideration. So apparently I slept for 10 years, how about you? <laughs> Who knows, but here we are. Here we are. Did you have a nice sleep? Nice enough to handle another day. Not like you have a choice, but anyway. I guess that's true. Well, my sleep got interrupted by a shadow injury. Really? Yeah, it was scary. I bet that man is behind it. He just wants us to suffer, you know. You sure have a lot of ways to refer to the guide. Anyway, you okay? I am, thanks for asking. Don't mention it, lady. Was there anything else? Did you tell me something about yourself? Why? Because I want to know about you, silly. Right now, all I know is you're handsome and disturbingly brooding. <laughs> handsome? I mean... Yeah, what of it? Seems like I got you flustered. Lay off, lady. I will, if you tell me something about yourself. You drive a hard bargain. Alright, how about this? I lived a shit life and then died a shit death. Feel enlightened? Oh, very. Could you be more specific? Was everything, um, shit? Pretty much. Fine. I like those streaks of white here. I mean, that's a compliment. You don't really seem like the type to spend on hair products, though. 
haven't been coloring it. That's what you're thinking. It's a condition. Really? Yeah, it's called poliosis. Put it simply, it makes my hair split into different colors. Oh, I had no idea. It looks good on you, though. Oh, well. And also, I'm impressed you know fancy words like poliosis. What's that supposed to mean? Can't I know fancy words? You don't strike me as a scholar, so I suppose it threw me off. Well, you didn't originally strike me as an annoying nag, so I guess we both learned something today. Fair enough. I'll let you get back to whatever you do. Right. Hey, guide. I need some help. Unfortunately, I'm much too busy to aid you at this particular moment, Miss Braid. Now, as we speak, I'm simultaneously engaged in greeting an extraordinary amount of new arrivals. And seeing as you're not new anymore, you'll have to make do. But there's no one here. Please, I'm everywhere, everywhere and nowhere all at once. You couldn't possibly fathom the inner workings of what I do. Maybe I can't. But you said that time doesn't concern you and that you'd be here to guide me. So what's stopping you? Should have known you turned out to be a bonafide father? I don't know how to say that word properly. Very well, there's a grand nugget of wisdom for you. Solve this predicament. Solve this predicament. Or spend, spend eternity. eternity. No light. Oh, he's saying it. No hope. No escape. Only your sins for company. <laughs> okay. Fine. Okay. Let's uh, look at our day in your dead book. Oh, they're all here, I guess. How darkly comedic. This tunnel seems to be a way out of here. The question is departing to where? Off the limits. Unless I can walk around it. Bang, this conveniently placed unforeseen force. Oh, it's true. I could really use a wish right now. Wish right now. Wish right now. <laughs> Wishing well. That's truly a place here to wish us well. <laughs> well, never again. I had many moments of brown study, wondering if I'd lost you forever. <laughs> but luckily, it seems to be seems that my special artifact has brought us together once more. Tell me, how have you been? I'm so glad I found you again. As for how I've been, well, apparently I slept for ten years, so I haven't actually done much. Oh no, 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 no. Did some poor Chio tell you to take a nap without telling you that? My poor, poor nipperkin, so lovely but so alone for so After long. All, no dreams, dreams in restless sleep. Well, something, uh, bread. Some sort of strange shadow woke me up as it entered my room walking around in there. Are you certain, Nipperkin? You're describing something that should not be possible. I'm entirely certain. Dearest to you, when will your bad fortune end? All I want is to see you chirping Mary. It feels like you were with me, though, because that thing you gave me helped me get rid of the intruder. Is that so? An unexpected result, but a blessing nonetheless. Actually, I wanted to ask you. That shadow, it seemed to be reacting to the crystal ball. Using that and some of my patented Astrid braid ingenuity. Ingenuity, oh my gosh. I managed to get rid of him using the power of brightness. So you have any idea what's going on? Aww. How I wish I could embrace your soul and fill it with the answers you seek, Nipperkin. But alas, I'm afraid my wisdom is facing ebb water that even the most valuable balsam would fail to even out. Rahel, could you at least try to make sense? I assume what you're saying is you don't have any answers for me. That's right, my dear Nipikin. However, my orbs seem to have strange magical properties that I don't fully understand myself, so it may be that something about them is simply captivating to those entities. That's entirely a guess, though. Sadly, I fear that only he, the most devious of adult plots, may truly know. But I promise you that I'll face every single one of Purgatory's ambidexters, if that's what it will take to help you. Why are you being so nice to me? Oh, why indeed? 
Why not? Rahel? Yes? What does Nipperkin mean? Oh, it's a word that we used when I was alive, when talking about small drinks, especially ones with alcohol in them, though not always so. Are you saying I'm a small glass of booze? I'm saying you're adorable <laughs> in all the right ways. Well, I guess I'll let you keep calling me that then. That fills me with joy to hear. I have an idea. Could I borrow your papers for just a moment? You mean the pamphlet? Sure, I guess. She's writing something. There. I made you a list of all the cramp words I use sometimes these, so you'll be able to better understand. Aww. I'll try using them less, but old habits die hard, as modern people say. It's not that modern, but I get what you mean. Thank you for educating <laughs> me. It's my pleasure, Nipperkin. I'm happy you didn't forget me after all these years. <laughs> How could I possibly? Well, we barely talked last time we met for one. You're right, of course. Nonetheless, you were a ga gape seed from the moment I first saw you, and I see a lot of people. I'm sorry if I said too much. Don't worry. I just... Well, when I was alive, I'm fairly sure I didn't know anyone who would remember me after ten years. This lady's seen some things, I can tell. Yes. She's from... She's very old. And you're here, still talking like we met a moment ago. <laughs> Dear Nipperkin, I have been here a long time. Ten years pass by quickly for one such as I. It might turn out to be the same for you eventually. I guess. You might find your way out for long, of course. I didn't mean... It's alright, Rahel. The words you use sound ancient. When were you alive, exactly? <laughs> I believe people I have met recently refer to the time period as the middling ages? Or some mediocre times? You mean the Middle Ages and Medieval times? That's right. So you're- oh wow. That's a long time ago, like hundreds of years. I'm quite chirping Mary for my age, am I not? Definitely. You must have heard about so many new things since coming here. Celical fames are still a mystery to me. Being able to talk to anyone, anywhere, all <laughs> anytime cell phones. <laughs> cell phones? Right. These new words are hard for me to remember for some reason. I'm sorry. No worries, I can help you with them. I appreciate that, Nipperkin. What can you tell me about this wishing well? <laughs> it seems to have some magical properties. I've seen many Borachios toss objects into it, somehow ending with balsam. Hmm. Mysterious, is it not? Very. I'll keep what you said in mind. Maybe I can find out the magic behind it. The guide refuses to talk to me. When it comes to the ambidexter, everything he does is a game to him, and alas, we are but pawns. Was there something he said that you could use somehow, Nipperkin? Well, back to looking for answers, take care, Rahu. May there always be balsam on the roads you travel. I'd settle for some balsam in my hair right about now. Hmm? Sorry, bad joke. Curious what we got from her. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Lore. Lore. Dang, you're dead. That's that, yeah. Shadows. Okay, we know about shadows. We know about necessities, Rahul's words. Adelplot, someone who spoils or ruin things, and would extra an untrusty, trustworthy person. Antiquated rogue, a person who used to be a criminal. Balsam is money. Danbury story. I've never seen Laura's plot so physical. A ridiculous tale which doesn't go anywhere. Borgia, a drunkard. Brother of the quill, a professional writer. Brother of the string, a professional musician. Brown study to be deep in thought. Chameleon diet, having a lack of food or eating too little. Chirping Mary, being in a very good mood. Cramp words, words that are hard to understand. Dirty Bow, a man who's acting more proper than he really is. Are you in the lore section? Yes, I am. The other stuff we already know about. This is the new thing in the lore section. Uh, Ed Water, lack of money. Fiddler's pay, being thanked and bought a drink for your services instead of getting paid money. Great Gapseed, 
Gabe Seed's Eye, a wonderful sight. Gut Founder, to be extremely hungry. Molly Grubs, being in a very bad mood. Nipper Can, a small glass of something to drink. And Swill Belly, someone who drinks heavily. Okay. I'm gonna save for now, and actually, we're gonna back out for today. My inner map hat is intrigued. <laughs> well, we're gonna wrap up for today, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. This is shorter than normal, but usually I do try to keep my streams to about an hour in the norm, just because this is my break. I've been going um, over time a lot because I've been having fun. But. Yeah, um, probably no stream tomorrow, but probably Saturday night rather than during the day. Um, yeah, we're going to leave it here. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay hydrated, eat if you haven't yet already, and have a great night. And those of you watching the VOD on YouTube, please consider subscribing. It takes two seconds and it's completely free, so you can always unsubscribe later. As always, we are going to just double check to see if there's any of my mutuals we can raid today. And there's none. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.